And now the ride for gold. Germany, uh, Australia up against China. It is Paige Greco, the 24-year-old, up against Wang Xiaomei, the 21-year-old, who's been riding since the age of 14. It was Paige Greco who set the fastest time in qualifying, set a new world record for the C3 category. The start so important. First gold medal of Tokyo 2020 Paralympics on the track to be decided. 12 laps. Great start from Greco. Yeah. Wang, though, you can see maybe just pushing that slightly bigger gear, just having to not quite get that turnover. We well, can see how quick they are into the saddle just to build up their power. A lot of strength going through the back before they get into the aero position. Greco comes in as the favourite. Can she do this? Well, she establishes that early lead, doesn't she? But again, this can come down to gear ratio off the line. So if you are pushing a slightly harder gear, you will struggle a little bit more through that first 150 metres. But the benefits come later once you get your machine up to full speed. But it is the Australian at the moment who will lead through the first 500 metres. But by how much? Not much at all. In fact, it has come down, but it's 0.592 of a second. Yeah, she went out fast of the blocks, but Wang is actually challenging Greco, so she will have to keep an eye on her coach to see where she's at. Has she backed up from the earlier qualifying? She well, just three years of age separate the two of them, and now that lead goes out to just under a second, so she continues to press Greco every lap, just pushing that little bit harder, just trying to just stretch it. At some point, at some point, does Wang decide that maybe silver is good enough? And that's going to come down to just how much hurt they're in at the moment. But it is still Greco. Every time we come through, that it's at about 0.3 of a second increase, incremental increase in gap. Yeah, Paige Greco really looks like she's giving it everything here in the final right from the start. She's not saving anything. She'll have to be able to pace herself to the finish. You see the coach on the pursuit line, which means that she hasn't got too much of a lead and she still needs to dig deep to establish that lead over Wang. So Loz Shaw is her coach there, very vocal, calling out those split times, calling out those lap times. They'll have a plan. Is she riding to plan? Remember, they had to race hard this morning. They've only had a couple of hours to try and recover. Very good pursuit final beginning to develop here between Paige Greco and Wang Jaime of China. Well, Greco extending her lead as she comes around to get the 2,000 metre mark. She has a handy lead. She'll be comfortable with that. Nearly two seconds, but anything can happen in the last one kilometre. We do talk about it. Three kilometres, well, two kilometres of hope and 1,000 metres of truth. And we're approaching that threshold now. And let's just get to pick up that time through 2,000 metres. And that time is 236.023, 237.862. So still not a lot in this race. Not quite two seconds, a second and a half, in fact. It is game on. It is Greco of Australia leaving Wang of China. Well, Wang is doing a very good job to hold the distance between the Australian, the favourite, Paige Greco. And it's now that she takes a little bit more out of Wang. So she is now starting to really bring this home. Paige Greco looks like she is on a good ride to take a gold medal here. Well, two, two and a half laps of the track remain for the Australian Wang, though. What can she find? Can she dig just that little bit deeper? Find a second here and a second there. She's starting to run out of track, though, at the moment. It is Paige Greco who set a world record looking to win the first gold medal on the track here. Tokyo 2020. The Paralympics. One lap to go for Paige Greco. This is going to be a special day for the Australian. And it is Paige Greco. Well, Australia, you've got such a rich history in all of sport, and it continues. Another remarkable athlete about to write another chapter in Paralympic history. It'll be Paige Greco of Australia who takes the gold medal in a time of 350.815, an average speed of just under 46 kilometres an hour. Outstanding performance, though, from Wang of China to win the silver, while Paige came in as the favourite, and she lived up to the billing.
And not only has she taken a gold medal here at the Tokyo Paralympics, she has also set another world record for the C3 class in that ride. So Paige Greco is on top of the world. Gold medalist at the Paralympics. Something special. Well, remarkable. A gold medal and a world record. We know how fast this track is. That is the seventh world record of today. Beats the world record that she set earlier this morning. Just so beautifully balanced, so smooth. Good aero tuck position. Never really saw her form drop off at any point. It was well measured, but you've got to say, this is going to develop into a great rivalry in the future between Wang and Greco, because Wang is just 21 years of age. Yeah, absolutely. To be in a gold medal final against Paige Greco and only be off the pace by four seconds is something quite impressive. So we're going to see a lot to come from Wang. But today it's Paige Greco of Australia, world record and a Paralympic gold medal to her name.